Hello everyone, this is Will and J Train. Say hello. Hey. And this is a tutorial for the video that I made, the the Life Without Lights thing. And this is gonna be a tutorial for like the drop in guns thing too. It's like the same effect. We're gonna be using emitters and rigid body and collider body tags. So that is what this tutorial will basically be all about. So the first thing we're going to need is a sphere because we're going to need to emit them. So that's a given. Okay. And I'm just assuming everyone knows how to make a sphere. So in case you don't, it's right here. And if you don't know how to make a sphere, you shouldn't be watching this. Okay. So for the emitter, it's under this panel right here. This is if you're using R12. It's different than R13. So sorry for R13 people. Emitter right here. I'm just going to start facing to the right. So we're going to hit R, rotate it so it's facing straight down. Hold shift to adjust it by five degree increments and you should be fine. All right. Now let's go to our top view. As you can see, the emitter is smaller than the sphere, so that's no bueno. We need to make the emitter way bigger. For the effect we're going to do today, we're going to need to make it really long. <laughs> that's what she said. Okay. There, this looks about right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the sphere right here, drag it under the emitter, make it a child of it. This is what this little L shape means. It's a child of the emitter, which is exactly what we want to do. So now you want to go click your emitter so it's highlighted yellow. Click the particle and click show objects. And your sphere should disappear. And if it doesn't, well, I don't know what to tell you because it's exactly what should happen. So now, if you're on the first keyframe and you press play, you're probably going to get something like this. This looks kind of cool, but not at all what we're going for. So, what you want to do now is click your sphere, go to simulation, dynamics, create a rigid body. And this is going to give your object, in this case, our sphere, like physics, like gravity. So now when we click it, you can see they appear and they start falling. Some of them are like colliding with each other and flying away, but that's fine. And the next thing we want to do is make something for them to interact with. So let's go in here. Let's make a cylinder. Turn it on the side. Uh, geez. Go into this view. Make it a little bit longer. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to MoGraph cloner and I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna clone all these instead of making tons of shapes because it's way faster we're gonna go to grid array just drag these parameters out just to space these apart actually I'm gonna take the middle one make it one and space this parameter out. And as you can see over here, they're spaced out, but facing the wrong direction. So grab your cloner, rotate the cloner object. Where can I grab this? Here we go. 90 degrees. And you should be good to go. Why won't this stick? Here we go. Now, this isn't enough cylinders for me. I want to have more interaction. So we're going to go here, back to our cloner, object, count, and increase the count horizontally, seven, looks good. I don't know. You can put whatever number you want, whatever fits your taste. Now, if we just go back to perspective view, now we're going to go to our cloner. Wait, what do I want to put it on? Oh, okay. We're going to grab our cloner, press C to make this editable. So now we have all these cylinders. I'm just doing it this way because I'm not sure if it'll work any other way because I didn't check beforehand. So you want to click your first cylinder, go down, hold shift, click the last one and all your cylinders should be selected. Then you want to go to simulation, dynamics, create collider. So that applies the tag to every single uh, cylinder we have on here. So now that they have collider tags, our spheres should react with them when they hit them. So let's press play, and ta-da, let's just add more frames so we can watch this for a little bit longer. 5,000 seems appropriate. Yeah. Alright, and this looks pretty great. 
and I don't know if you guys wanted me to include how I made the texture, so I'll just do that really quick. The texture was, they were like blue and purple, so what you want to do is grab luminance, make this blue colored luminance or whatever. Go to the reflection, click that texture for now. Drag down the brightness of the reflection, and ta-da! Maybe make the Fresnel 50%. Sorry, I'm a little bit sick, but uh, all is well. Drag this onto your sphere, and let's render this. It looks pretty cool. Of course, there's no lights in here, so it's not going to look great, but this is the exact effect from the video. So, I hope you guys like this. I didn't really include how to do the raining guns thing. I actually do that in another video. It's basically the same thing with the emitter, but instead of spheres, you put guns, and instead of bars, you put a picture of your street. But it's a little more confusing. Harder said than done. So, wait, harder done than said. I don't know. Anyways, that's it for the tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comment. And I guess I'm coming back. I'm gonna start making more videos. Gonna make a website, gonna get a new computer, gonna have some more cool stuff. So, whoever is still subscribed to me, thanks for sticking around. And I'll be back and actually making tutorials for people. So, just request them. Thank you. And goodbye. Wait, shit, how do I end this? Stop